In this problem, we are looking at scatter plots and something called the correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient is this number that statisticians represent with the letter R. And the correlation coefficient shows how much a group of dots looks like a line. And when we're looking at scatter plots, looking like a line is important because it shows, if it looks like it bunches up around a line, that there is some real relationship between the two things that are being plotted on the x and the y axis. If you see a big cloud of dots that don't look at all like a line, it means there probably isn't a relationship. So r has these values that go from 1 all the way down to negative 1. And those two numbers are important because those would represent perfect lines. A 1, a positive 1, would be a perfect line that goes up. A negative 1 would be a, a perfect line that slopes down. And 0 would be no line at all, so it would just be random dots. So our job in this problem is to take a look at these scatter plots and decide what, what it looks like their correlation coefficients might be. So let's look at these questions here. The first one says, for which data set is the correlation coefficient r closest to negative 1? So a correlation coefficient of negative 1 is going to be dots that look like a line that slopes downward. And we don't have any perfect line that slopes downward. But this one here it seems like the general shape of these dots, uh, if I were to draw in some kind of line of best fit here, would go down. So I don't think this is a correlation coefficient of exactly negative 1. But this is probably the closest one. So figure number 3 is definitely the closest to a negative 1. 2 asks, for which data set does the correlation coefficient r appear to be equal to 1? And here, number 4, that looks pretty close. Um, they're bunched up on a positive line. But look at figure 1, exactly a line. So that looks like it does actually have a cor correlation coefficient of 1. So that would be for sure figure number 1. And then 3 says, which data set shows the least evidence of a linear relationship. And all that means linear relationship. It means the dots look like a line. And figure two is the one that looks like kind of a random cloud. So the correlation coefficient here is probably zero. So this is the one that has the least linear relationship. So that's figure number two. So that is a little bit of work with the correlation coefficient and linear relationships.